Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I've got a really fun video for you today. I'm going to be reviewing a product that is new to me. I don't know if it's new to the market, but it's definitely new to me. And it is the Spray and Bond Fabric Stiffener. Have you guys ever seen this or heard of it before? I um, got it because I was recently making this cutie little top. This is the Love Notions Tranquil uh, Top, um, part of like a little nightwear set. <clears throat> and in it, you have to make this little bias binding trim. This is a knit top, pajamas, and you have to bind it um, sort of like bias binding. And as you know, when you go to cut your knit strip to make that bias binding, it ends up like this. It ends up folding in on itself, right? It makes this huge, like just jelly roll of itself and it's impossible to get it to stay flat. And so I was like, I just do not feel like fighting with this. I don't want to do interfacing because I don't want it to impact sort of the weight and structure of the bias binding. Like what can I do? So that's whenever I grabbed the fabric stiffener and decided to give it a shot. I'm going to show you exactly how this stuff works. It's super, super easy to use and a lot like magic. I was so thoroughly impressed with how it helped my binding, um, how it made that process so much easier. So hopefully you guys will see that and at the very least grab it to make bindings, but I think we can find a lot of other practical applications for this as well. So let me jump over to my cutting table and show you guys just how to use this, how it works and what the end result ends up looking like. Okay, for to use this stuff, you need parchment paper. They tell you to get two pieces. I'm only gonna get one piece because I'm a little bit economical. I'll show you how to get around that. I'm gonna take my fabric and because I'm using a knit and I'm using this to stiffen up the knit so the edges don't curl, I'm actually going to flip this over and lay it flat. And we're gonna pretend that my strip is only this long, however long it is though, it works, trust. All right, so, and I'm doing this also um, with the strip like toward the second half of the paper because we're gonna end up folding the paper over like this in order to set the product, okay? So this is the product here, Spray and Bond Fabric Stiffener, and you wanna shake it like crazy. You have to mix it all up really good to start. So just keep shaking, keep shaking. You really, really wanna mix all that stuff in together. All right, and once you're done shaking, we are going to spritz this fabric. Now, the thing that separates this stuff from other fabric stiffeners on the market is that your fabric does not have to be wet first. My fabric is completely, completely dry. Like I just cut it off of the um, scrap that I have. So this is completely dry. And then we are gonna hold this like eight to 10 inches away from the fabric and spritz until damp. Okay, so a couple things are happening here. Because we turned the fabric upside down, the edges are not curling up. If we had done it the other way, like this, this is what would have happened. They curl into themselves like crazy. So we've, we've made our lives a little bit easier by preventing that ever so slightly. Now, in order to get this to set and be firm, we are going to take it over to our iron which is set at a medium heat with no steam, okay? Medium heat, no steam, and you literally just run your iron, pick your iron up, put it down. Five seconds maybe, doesn't really say on the bottle, so just, you know, do what your fabric can handle, but you're gonna keep the heat on this for as long as it takes for this to dry, okay? So let me do that, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm done with the ironing. I basically did about like each section for a total of 30 seconds, five seconds at a time. So if you have a heat press, like a Cricut uh, heat press or other kind of heat press that's larger, that would be really helpful too. But if all you've got is your iron, just keep going back and forth, back and forth until you have the whole thing dried. Then you bring it back over to your work table, let it uh, cool completely, like this is not hot at all. Um, and then we can peel this back. You can see that it's totally dry. And remember, 
this is what we started with, okay? This amount of drape, right? This is what we have now. It's definitely a lot stiffer, right? Our, oh, you can see it really good there. Um, like it's standing up on itself. <laughs> and the best part is, and what I loved it for so much is that our little edges are not curling in any direction. This is the same, same side facing up and it's laying completely flat. So you can see, you can sew this into your um, t-shirt, neckbands, armbands, wherever you've got, and you're not gonna have to deal with all of this curling. I mean, the more that you work with this, the more it begins to curl. So you're not gonna have to deal with that at all if you use the fabric stiffener. I mean, it really is the coolest, coolest stuff. And then all you do is sew it. It does not gunk up your machine, does not gunk up your needles. Um, the fabric still feels the same. The color is pretty close as you can see. So you can just leave it in if you want, or when you, the next time you wash that garment, it will wash out and you will just be left with like a beautiful um, finish to your item. And all right, that's it. It really is so simple and straightforward to use. And as you can tell, it produced a neckband or a strip of fabric that was much easier to work with, especially whenever it's on a knit and it's super, super, super thin. This is the finished result of my neckband. Please do not judge how I'm a little bit short on bias binding there, whoopsies. Um, but I have not washed this yet. So this is the binding with the fabric stiffener still in it without it being washed out. And you can tell it's still relatively malleable. It's not like stiff as a board. Um, you can still wear it and it still feels comfortable. And then when you wash it out, it's gonna just be like a regular neck band. But you can tell that I was able to get a really beautiful clean finish all along my neck band because that strip of fabric was not being a little roly poly and being like pretty much impossible to work with. So I'm a big fan. I'm going to be figuring out lots of different ways that I can use this. Um, it, honestly, anytime you just want a fabric to behave, you know what I'm saying? You spray this on and it, you become its boss. So, um, I have linked in the description box to this fabric stiffener. It's available on Amazon, available through um, ThermoWeb slash Spray and Bond's website. Um, I don't think it's available in stores, so I think you have to order it online, but it's really great. Super, super great. Easy to use. Results speak for themselves. <laughs> but that is going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.